Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another process video. So today I'm doing a layout about um, my little photo shoot with the dogs. This was on Christmas Eve um, and one of these photos is in my Christmas album but this is the main photo that I wanted to do a layout for. It's my own design. I'm using red cardstock here it's smooth cardstock I don't have any textured at the moment and then what I've done is I've placed these two pieces of pattern paper onto the page already I did that off camera and it didn't go well I stuck this piece upside down to ha and luckily I'd only stuck it at the bottom bit because I wanted to stick this bit in and then stick that on top so I'd only put a strip of adhesive along here <laughs> So I managed to pull it up and rectify the situation. But yeah, I'm glad that I didn't do that on camera. So uh, this pattern paper here is Photo Play Frostival Winter Fun. And this piece here is Pink Fresh Studio Holiday Magic Candy Cane. I think that's from last year. And I absolutely love this side. And I'm not sure if I did not ever manage to get a layout done using that side. I can't actually remember. But yeah, love loved that side. But um, yeah, quite tricky to use. So I thought I'd use the other side. And today I've done something that I never normally do. And I've done it on both sheets of paper. So I've cut into a 12 by 12 sheet of pattern paper that is not actually going to be used as a full sheet. Now, I know a lot of people do layering and things like that and, and do probably quite often cut into 12 by 12 sheets, but I never do that. I always buy a 12 by 12 sheet to use as a 12 by 12. The, I suppose the kind of exception to that would be a half and half page like this. So I've saved half and I'll probably use that on another page. But yeah, to just use a little strip like this is quite unusual for me. And originally I was thinking of using that as the main piece of pattern paper, which is the reason why I pulled it out, because I thought it went really well with the um, colours in the photo and everything. But this pattern paper here, I just absolutely love. And it's quite difficult for us in the UK to, you know, use a piece like this, maybe if you're in Scotland or something. But, um, and I just absolutely love it. I think it's one of my favourite pattern papers. So I just really wanted to try and use it. And I thought, you know what, I'll use it as a half and half and uh, I think that's going to work. So yeah, so I have stuck that down. I stuck the bottom bit of this down first once I, you know, turned it around. Then I stuck this bit down and then I stuck the rest of this on top of that. And what I did was I've been playing with bows again. I created two bows with some Baker's twine and I've popped that on across the line. And um, I cut it in half so I could create the bows where I wanted them to be rather than create this bow and then try and create that bow at the end of the piece of twine like I did with my other layout. So that worked out really well. Got a slight join in the middle there and uh, obviously that's where my photo is going to go. So, um, What I'm trying to do on this layout is use up a few bits and bobs from my Christmas stash. I've got this twine here, my Christmas twine. Two bows, a lovely gold glittered star and some points hitters that Moira sent to me. Two the flare hot pieces here. And white metallic thread from Stephanie. Jingle all the way, Simple Stories foam sticker there, some Simple Stories textured layered stickers here, not textured but layered, and they're from Simple Vintage North Pole, and they're the last four on the sheet, and I was, when I picked it out of the box I was going to use this one here, but then I thought to myself maybe I could challenge myself to just finish that sticker sheet because it's been hanging around a while. Not sure when this came out, but it certainly wasn't last year, or don't, it might have been the year before, but I'm not sure. Um, and although this photo wasn't taken on the 25th, I thought maybe I could try and hide the 25 or cut it off or something. So I'm going to give that a go. I've also got this uh, banner piece here, which um, has been in my stash for quite a while. It may have even come from that same um, Simple Vintage North Pole, but I'm not sure. Um, and I really like these a lot, but as you can, well, you probably know already that they are, they can be quite tricky to use because the simple reason is that they are like a feature piece, aren't they? So they will, they are going to be the fe a feature piece on the layout, like a standout piece. So it's got to have to be on a layout where that's going to work. And when I saw it in my stash, I thought, you know what? I think I can probably make it work on this layout. So let's go for it. It's down. Now then, that little sticker that came out of there is, oh, it's coming two pieces now, two pieces lot. So it's got that bit and then that bit as well. And I was thinking of, of maybe putting one of those bows in there, um, but I was actually going to cover that over, the white bit. So I think I'm, what I'm gonna do is probably stick that white bit in and 
leave that in then that I'm not sure about that so I may end up covering that so I'll just leave that there for now I think I'll get the photo down now what I've done is I've put a lot of sticky foam pieces on the back of here and I'd actually put the foam onto the back of the photo and um, before thinking about maybe I should have left a gap for that twine there it, it doesn't really matter because it's you know it can be raised a little bit but um you probably get a little bump where that is if I press it down and uh, so what I did was I added an extra piece of uh, an extra layer of the foam right at the top where I'm going to place that across where the photo is so that it's just raised slightly higher at the top and um, you won't get like a ridge as such because it'll just be like on a layer there you see that's a double height layer there so it's not obviously if I really press it down a lot you probably would get a ridge but um, yeah not going to do that so I'm trying to use all the bits and bobs on this layout that's a bit lower than I would have liked it now too late <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> I might have to put a layer of foam under here now because I think I was hoping to fit this flat here in this section here to the page and it, I think I placed it slightly lower than I'd anticipated but also I think um Maybe that comes lower down than I thought it might, but anyway, that's in place now, so we can't do anything about that. I was also thinking about this Hello Santa piece possibly going there, and that will also need an extra bit of um, foam on it. I've got these two flare pieces. Um, these are not my favourite flare pieces, um, this pattern, because although I absolutely love Christmas jumpers, and I think this is kind of like a Christmas jumper pattern, I don't actually have any Christmas jumpers in that pattern. But when I looked at the throw, this little throw here that the dogs have got, with the snowflakes on it, I thought, oh my gosh, absolutely perfect. I've had that for quite a few years. Mum bought it for my dog Elvis. And um, yeah, I don't think I've ever remembered to ever thought about using that before for um, these flare. I don't know how long I've had them. I've not had them as long as I've had the throw, obviously, but possibly had them last year. And that throw definitely featured last year. I'm not sure that I actually remembered to or thought about using it in that way to match the uh, throw so I thought I'd probably place a couple of embellishments on the page here and then I was going to scatter these lovely pieces up here somewhere so I'm definitely trying to um, use a few bits and bobs up so things that you know I've had for a while uh, that I still like that I'm not donating but um, you know It'd be nice to see them on a page, wouldn't it? So this poinsettia piece here, I think I might add that there as an extra feature with the other bit there. And I definitely like that bow there because this is kind of like one bow for the, each of the dogs because they do kind of get these bows from when they go for their grooming. They do sort of get these bows given to them, similar bows to these. And I thought that was quite cute. Um, the dogs did not get a groom this year for Christmas though because um, poor Buddy was in confinement. And yeah, I had to cancel Chester's appointment and um, I couldn't, they couldn't fit him in until January. They did ring me at one point with a, a, a short notice one, but I just couldn't make it because it was on a Tuesday when I'm at the Donker Sanctuary. Um, so yeah, he's going next week, Chester, but he can't actually quite go yet. So then I'm thinking, I've just stuck that back in because I just prefer it and I don't think I'm ever going to use that stick. And I thought I could probably put this one over the top if I'm going to use it in that way. Um, now then, shall we just pop the bow somewhere else or do we have them together on those two bits there? I don't think it really matters. I think I might pop one up there actually. And then I probably will use that there. So that's another sticker used. That I may not have used otherwise. I think I said it in my other video. I don't um, really use candy canes a lot. Although I do see them as a treat embellishment as opposed to just a candy cane embellishment. So I could use them on any layout where I'm having treats, but yeah, just for some reason don't tend to use them a lot. Right, I think we'll pop a few bits down here so we can uh, see how it's coming along. The only other bit is this stocking one. This is the only one left, isn't it? Because I've got that one, that one, this one. Uh, oh, and that one, this 25, but I'm going to... Definitely not use it as 25. In fact, I'm going to cut it off now because it's definitely not the 25th, that photo. That was my Christmas Eve jumper. I thought it might be quite cute to try and maybe use that piece at the bottom here. Right at the bottom of the layout. Can't 
you know, it might even kind of disappear a little bit into the pattern, but I didn't mind that at all. So this is the only other thing to try and add on the page. I don't normally like try and, um, you know, use things <laughs> just for the sake of using them. But um, yeah, it would be nice to just finish that packet, wouldn't it? If not, this one might have to be sacrificed now because I've taken it off the thing and everything. Would that look okay there, do you think? Can't, you can't actually all the ants answer me, but <laughs> it's there now. <laughs> I have got these few here that I popped to one side. These are a few um, amalgamated stickers and things because I had like different sheets and, and I just they're all sort of like they have been picked over. So there's not much left of each of them. So I got I put them all onto one sheet of plastic. So I've got two adhesive brads. I've got some foamies here and some puffies here. So yeah, I'd put those here. When I was coming up with the idea for the layout, I... I'd sort of look, looked at these pieces and, and these were kind of like, just I'll keep these out just in case I feel like adding them. I do really like this poinsettia here so that Mo Moira gave me and, I'm, and it would be nice to try and fit in another one or two of those. Or would that just be like trying to do too much again? I don't know. I think that looks quite nice there. Now then, hmm, definitely going to have to have three, aren't we? Ooh, I'm not sure now how that how I'm going to fit that in if I do I'm going to leave it where's the plastic I just took the plastic off and I don't know what I did with it I'm just going to leave that there for now and just see how things go I've got my white metallic thread here I don't think I showed that to you to go around my uh, flare pieces there so what I'm going to do now is probably add a little bit of extra foam to these uh, these um, layered stickers because I need it to is that the right side? This is the right side, isn't it? I need it to be on the same height as, you know, the photo. I think I might. Do I need to put another one on there? Pop that down. I just thought that filled that gap nicely. Just because this it's only like gravel. It's just gravel. It's nothing. You're not missing anything in that photo. There's no, you know... Nothing nice in that, that section of the photo. Right, so we'll. And I, I do like things to overlap as well, like overlapping embellishment. I think that's going to be the solution for that. Yeah, now then, this PC I think can overlap too. And actually, although my original plan was to have it laying flat on the page, I think I actually quite like the fact now that it's uh, going to cross over that photo. And we're going to have a little bit extra layering. It's definitely a layering layout for sure or a layered layout i have to trim a little bit off that one can you see it through yeah you can slightly trim a little bit off of that just so you can't see it through the sticker that might be enough it doesn't have to be like um you know engineered or anything it's uh, just a little bit of um foam just to keep it at the same height oh I did two on the other one didn't I I think I need two on this one do I? I think I might you know I'm going to add two on there and my, oop, it's sticking to my fingers now the actual sticker is sticking to my fingers as well as the uh, foam pieces oh gosh now then that one does that one show through under that E it does doesn't it I'm glad I spotted that because once it was down I wouldn't be Getting that off again. Tear that off. And, uh, what I'm going to do here is just make a smaller piece of foam and stick it just right in the middle there like that. And hopefully that won't be seen. It might be a little bit. We'll trim a bit off again just to be sure. My scissors are going to be sticky now, which is a shame. I shall try and give them a wipe, make sure they're not too sticky. Right then, let's get this down. Just right at the bottom, I think, here. Like that. It is quite, um, yeah, I don't think I actually needed that extra um, layer on this section. It does look a bit, yeah. Might have to, it looks a little bit um, uneven, doesn't it? What I might do, though, is um, stick another bit of foam under here. 
and that should solve that problem if I don't press on everything too much apart from the bit that's got all the extra yeah I didn't really like that I'm gonna be honest don't really like that don't want to ruin the sticker because you know I wanted to use it oh I just gotta leave it <laughs> it's very textured though <laughs> in some places and they're not in others so what I'm gonna to have to do is get those tiny little foam pads that I'm not over keen on and uh, <laughs> stick a few of those around. Oh no, I can't believe it. I should have left it as one layer. It worked as two layers with the other bit. Not sure why this is any different. But uh, yeah, oh no, I'm not keen on that. And now I'm damaging the sticker. So, <sighs> gosh. Oh well, that's what happens when you try and use things up, isn't it? There, that's okay. I'll get my green pen now. I'm just going to colour in that little bit there that I'm ruined. Oh, wait, it looks a bit rustic, doesn't it? Right, <laughs> enough of that nonsense. <laughs> did I stick all those things down? Oh, gosh. I don't even know if I did or not. Yeah, I did. I did stick them down. Let's get this thread around here. Calm me down a little bit. Add the thread around the flare pieces. I couldn't quite figure out what this was here this um, image here that one there I had to zoom in and I think it does it say like cookies or something so it's kind of like a cookie stand or something but when I was looking at it I was thinking that looks like a ferry like on the sea it looks like a boat <laughs> that's what I thought anyway until I looked closely at it and realized it was like a cookie stand or something so I'm not too bothered about that being slightly covered over because yeah it's uh, it's not like a house it doesn't look like a house to me it's not supposed to be obviously but yeah, we don't really have cookie stands. I suppose we would at like a vintage uh, Christmas fair or something, but um, yeah, it wasn't my favorite image on the paper. Right, get that other bit down as well. And there's not a lot else to go on this layout, I don't think. Um, obviously the pattern paper is quite a feature as is that sticker banner up there and uh, all the extra bits that I've popped on the page I'm not too happy with this foam sticker that I've got down here I think I have got one more foam sticker um, like from the same packet and I, I can't actually remember what it said it's a possibility I might you know redo it with that sticker but I think I would have chosen that sticker in the first place if it was the right, right for the layout, so it's probably not going to be. Right, that's that white thread around there. So, um, yeah, my journal is going to go here. It's just probably going to be like a photo shoot with the dogs. I can't remember if I've said that already on a layout. I probably have. Um, I did the inside photo shoot with them earlier in the month, and this is like my proper one that I always do sitting here with them. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Just I, I'll, I'll see. Uh, I might just mention Christmas Eve on there because normally I like to do my photo shoot earlier in the month. Ooh, I really want to use this poinsettia that Moira sent me now because I feel as though, you know, it's going to be a bit lonely otherwise. Like, because the other two are on there, aren't they? And now I'm thinking whether this sticker actually fits in with the scheme. I'm wondering whether that might look better like that. Just a little poinsettia there. I could layer it, couldn't I? I am definitely now doing what I never normally do and trying to fix something on the layout. It's not so much the points here, it's because I really like them, it's this sticker. <laughs> Do you know what? I think I might leave that sticker off and add the points that are here. I think that looks better. Yeah. Uh, I did the bow, deny the pink, but the green bow, sorry. So, yeah, I think. So, everything I've got these, all I've got left now is what's on here. I've got these lovely two little adhesive brads, which would have been nice to use. I might still go through my Christmas album and decide whether there's anything else that I want to, uh, you know, add to that as I flick through it. I've got these embellishments on this side, but nothing really on this side apart from this foam uh, sticker. But um, yeah, I, I actually quite like that. I could have, I suppose I could have put another flare piece here on this side. Or I could use one of these. But they look right though don't really know now thinking about it they would quite oh, I really like the colouring of that one hmm. I don't know if you can hear Buddy he's under my desk again he's, I can hear him doing a tiny little Buddy snore <laughs> I 
don't know if you could hear him. <laughs> and now I've lost track of what I was doing. <laughs> oh, I really want to use them. I don't want it to look as I've just put them there for the sake of it though, you know. But at the same time, would that go nice with the flare pieces? Oh, he just did a snort then. Or was that Chester? No, Chester's outside my room in his basket and Buddy's under my desk. And he just done like a little snort then. <laughs> He's having a little moan and groan now. Okay, I think I, I think that's going to stay there, but it's not going to have any twine or anything. Um, yeah, I'm messing about today, aren't I? Right, okay. And um, there's no, I suppose this is the title, Jingle All The Way, I'm not really sure. Hello Santa, Believe In The Magic, any of those could be the title. Dear Santa, with it being Christmas Eve. Um, so yeah, sort of a half and half layout of my own design with this lovely pattern paper at the bottom, which I'm really pleased to have used some of. With a little torn edge on the other pattern paper there and the ribbon across, the baker's twine. Um, that lovely banner piece used up for my stash. There's lovely poinsettias and bows and star that Moira sent to me. And uh, yeah, flare pieces and uh, a little adhesive uh, brad there, which, you know, <laughs> I could add another one to. But I'm not going to because, yeah, I think we're finished. Right. Yeah. As always, stay safe. Take care. Thank you for joining me and I shall see you next time.